Welcome back to Good Day. I'm over here with Scuba Steve from the dive shop. He's brought some artifacts to show us of things that were, well, that you find in the ocean, but yep. that have been found in the river here, in the Flint River. Right. That's tell correct. Us about it. Well, and in prehistoric times, or little times before we were born, uh, this used to be basically in a beachfront right here in Albany, Georgia. Huh. That's what our sand dunes are out here, is basically the old beachfront. And so all this was inhabited by sea creatures at one time. And as the lands kind of rose and the sea waters receded, uh, they're in, well, we know where they're at now. We got to go to Florida, over to the Georgia coast to see our seawater. But this used to be covered with salt water here in our area. <clears throat> like I said, I'd so told on the show once before, um, you drill a well in Albany, and when you hit anywhere down to 60 feet even, you'll be getting small fingernail dime-sized sand dollars up. That's wild. But there were bigger sand dollars than that. <clears throat> this is a real sand or a current sand dollar out of the Gulf of Mexico here. Mm -hmm. This is a recent model, and here is the prehistoric. A recent model. A recent model, yeah. <laughs> this is our prehistoric one. This is still in a piece of lime rock on the bottom. You can see the layers of different shells. Here's a piece of another uh, sand dollar there on top of that one. And um, we also have here, this is pretty much a perfect fossilized version wow. of a sand dollar. This is completely rock now. It's not the little limestone shell it used to be. Um, then we have little sea urchins. This is a pretty recent sea urchin here. If you can see the little spines, these are the little yeah. fingers where it feeds and it has little legs it walks around on on the ocean floor. That's so cute. And it pulls up and this is very light and it's hollow on the inside. That's the body of the animal would be up on the inside here. Uh -huh. And these are very, very fragile. Um, but now we have the fossilized version of the same current model. Here's the prehistoric model. And this is now all lime rock, sandstone type mixture. But that is what that is. It came out of the <coughs> Flint River. Excuse me. And uh, the other thing is this little creature here, which is about, this probably doesn't weigh a gram. This is very light and very fragile. When you find one of these in the ocean, most divers never bring them to the top because they're holding them in their hands. And um, it's kind of in the sand dollar family. You can still see the yeah. same shape. And here's a fossilized version of the same, the same shell. Um, you can see the star shape on it like it's on all the sand dollars. Well, that is so neat. And we're going to be back in just a little bit with the Dive Shop, learning more about this. Again, you guys can go to thediveshop.pro .pro. for more information. But we're going to be back learning more about these fossils in just a second. Chris, back over to you. Welcome back to Good Day. Well, I am just fascinated at the way that, that items can turn into <laughs> something else when they're left in a river for quite a long period of time. We're back with Scuba Steve from the dive shop and he has been showing us some artifacts all morning and so now what do you have for us now? Well the only prehistoric one I still have around is the shark's teeth. We have talked about those earlier. Right. Uh, this is from a megalodon shark which was like a 30-35 foot shark. Um, the other thing that's interesting is why we have the Flint River. This is a piece of flint. Oh. This is a nice piece of flint rock. It is pretty much all pure flint. There's no other limestone or anything in it. Wow. An Indian may have used this to clean with or to chip to make an arrowhead, or he may have actually chipped off pieces of this pure flint to try to carve out his arrowhead. This is kind of a rare, rude one. This is probably something that it broke, so it never did get finished by the Indians. I guess they had a lot of time on their hands. They yeah. sat around chipping flint rocks. This would have been something more along the size of a spear here. Um, this is a nice little arrow point, or a, actually for an arrow, this would have been a spear this size, this would have been an arrowhead. Ah. And um, you see a lot of the tainted look to it. Right. This is a piece of Indian pottery. This came out of the river. Um, the pottery, you can tell it's perfectly smooth on the inside. This would have been a bowl or a pitcher. And this is a one that was found on land out of an earth dig, uh. and it is smooth on the inside, and you can even see Hopefully the camera will pick up all the etchings and markings there. It's on, uh, that's one way to kind of identify the tribe that probably did make that. And now I gotta ask you, when you were out 
in the water. <laughs> Why do you, because to me this looks like a flat rock. How do you <laughs> pick this up and think, this is significant, I better hang on to it? Well, you just kind of got to know. It's a little bit of experience and uh, just if you find something that looks like a shape, don't throw it away. Check it out, make sure what it is. Uh, bring it back to shore, look at it, do a little research, okay. and if it's a rock, you can skip it back off through the water and see how okay. many times it'll skip. Now, we, don't, we're, we only have just a few seconds left, but right. we have to say what this is right here. I know people right. are wondering. This is, this is actually a tooth. It could either be a camel or a uh, horse tooth. Uh, these are pretty neat. Um, they're in the river, and you can find those. They're kind of halfway fossilized. It's crazy. Um, last thing I had, if we got just a few seconds, is you can find a lot of these artifacts in the river. This is a Coca-Cola bottle. It's crazy. Um, this came out of the Flint. Uh, it's actually from the Albany Coca-Cola bottling plant. It says Albany, Georgia on the bottom. Right. And actually the Albany trash dump was uh, previously at the site where the Albany Civic Center is now. So there are a lot of, every time we had a flood, mm -hmm. we filled the Flint up with a lot of trash. Not a good idea for placement there. That's, it's it's that. a nice paved parking lot now. It doesn't wash away That's into good. the Flint anymore. That's good. Well, if you guys would like more information or you'd like to see any of these things, you guys can go to the Dive Shop. Again, Scuba Steve, and their website is thediveshop.pro. Thank you for coming on and educating us on the, what's right here in our own backyard. Thank you. Back on over to you, Chris.